you to five things you need to know today. A Midland County family now staying at a hotel after a tree crashed into their home. The Lincoln Township family's five dogs still at the home in a heated area while they figure out their next steps. The family has a GoFundMe set up right now. If you want to help, go to the hot link section at WNEM.com. If you or someone you know needs shelter from the cold, here's a list of some facilities that you could go to. There's My Brother's Keeper of Genesee and Flint on North Grand Traverse Street. In Midland, there's Open Door on Buttles Street. Good Samaritan Rescue Missions on 9th Street in Bay City. And the City Rescue Mission is on Burt Street in Saginaw. A local library is offering support to caregivers of those with Alzheimer's and dementia. The support group meets at Dow Memorial Library in uh, Midland twice a month, providing emotional, educational, and social support as they take on the demanding task of caring for their loved ones. The next meeting tomorrow at 1, you can register in the hot link section at WNEM.com. There's a capacity crisis at the Saginaw County Animal Care and Control from the weather. Shelters nearly 40 dogs over capacity and leaving other pets and animals left outside fending for themselves. Now they suggest straw bedding to improve their conditions. You could get it at the agency on Bay Road. Cold temperatures can cause harm to animals with shorter coats in just a few minutes. If you're not sure your animal should be outside, it's best to bring them in. Dangerously cold temperatures outside today, so you need to limit how long you're out there as much as possible. And that goes for our pets as well. If they do have to go outside, you'll want to be prepared just in case. TV5's Lauren Piesco joins us in studio now to tell us a few things that we should consider to keep our furry friends safe this winter. Lake Sierra, good morning, and I'm so glad we're talking about this because it is such an important topic. With these dangerously cold temperatures and wind chills we're feeling, the number one thing for pet owners to remember right now, never under any circumstances leave your pets outside. And it may seem like common sense, but unfortunately, animal cruelty cases like this are seen on a daily basis by animal shelters across the nation. Leaving a dog or cat outdoors, even just for a few minutes right now, can lead to hypothermia, frostbite, or even freezing to death. If bundling up keeps you warm, why not bundle up your pets too? Especially for short haired dogs and cats, dressing them in vests, coats, winter boots can protect their skin and their paw pads. Rock salt on the pavement can also irritate paws or lead to salt poisoning if animal swallows it. And for outdoor animals like horses, cows, goats, even barn cats, make sure they have some form of warm, dry shelter they can go into, preferably with a heater inside, but at least equipped with water, food, and blankets. And finally, if you do spot animal neglect, it's important to take action immediately. Speaking up could save an animal's life. If you spot an animal chained up or abandoned out in the cold, take note of the exact date, time, and location. Contact your local animal control agency or local sheriff's office and giving them a detailed summary and some photos or videos is really going to help back up your case. If you're still having trouble reaching someone, you can always call the Humane Society of the United States. Nick are heading out today. Bundle up and stay warm out there in the studio. Lauren Piesco for TV5. Blake, Sierra, back to you.